brilliance. Who's your favorite composer? Who's your favorite band? I have lots. I started with um, Ravel. Ravel was my favorite composer for a long time. And then, oh, Copeland took over. Shostakovich took over. Now I'm really into Hiromi. I love Thelonious Monk. It's okay to borrow cool music from others to learn from it. That's all right. That's, that's how we grow as composers. Um, jazz musicians and classical musicians have an interesting relationship. They tend to envy each other. Uh, classical musicians will look at jazz musicians and say, how do you improvise without music? I wish I could do that. And then jazz musicians look at classical musicians and say, wow, I can't read music like that. How do you do that hard stuff like that? So um, because they admire each other, they tend to honor each other in each other's music. So classical musicians will uh, weave in jazz moments and jazz musicians will take a nod at classical, uh, really famous classical pieces. Like this one is a nod to In the Hall of the Mountain King uh, from the Pure Gint Suite by Edward Grieg. Anyway, borrowing brilliance is okay. Your job today is to find a favorite piece and borrow an idea. This can be a melodic idea like I did in this. Or it can be a chord idea, maybe Latin chords. You can take those chords and do them in all kinds of different ways, but they've been used in countless Spanish and Latin American pieces. Anyway, create a spin-off, make it your own, and have a blast doing it. <laughs>